This is part two of how to do a basic print with, uh, I'm using Slicer for interface, and uh, this is my original school beta printer bot. I actually got this from Brooke back in January. Uh, put it together with, based on pictures on a Flickr page. A lot of tweaking to it. Uh, didn't have end stops till a couple weeks ago. One thing I wanted to mention before I start printing is I forgot to mention this with printer face. Let me zoom in here is once you have your print up there if you click on it you have you can see this and you can zoom in and if I hold down the shift key I can scroll through all of my different lines so I can see where my fill is where things change and it's a really good way I highly recommend you always go through this once uh, to make sure that everything is the way it should be that's kinda huge uh, so wanted to show you that that wasn't in my first one uh, so this is my setup it's not pretty I have a printer board down here it's sitting on a, on a thing that's supposed to attach but I haven't gotten it attached yet I have this makeshift fan uh, contraption here with a vice clamp aiming it at there plugged into the, the fan uh, my wires are a lot more organized than they were in the past so uh, it, it, it could be a lot worse let me just say I'm going to, my temperatures are now good, so I'm going to do an extrusion. That didn't come out too much, so I'm going to do another one here. Get my tweezers, pull this off, and then I'm going to do one more. My, I have my extrude set at 5 millimeters, so I'm doing 5 millimeters each time. That was nice and clean, so everything's up to temperature, and I'll talk about that here once we start printing, but let's get it printing. So I click print. I got my X my Y and now it's doing my Z axis. I'm going to pull that last little bit. It always oozes a little after I clean it and I just smeared it. Well, that'll be okay. Uh, that's why we, I always like doing that skirt because that kind of takes care of that kind of stuff. So this is a uh, design of my own. I call it the happy sad coin. Um, I'm going to put this up on Thingiverse in just a little bit. Uh, I'm printing it at 80%, which I haven't printed before, so hopefully everything will scale out okay. That was shown in my first video. Uh, I'm printing, uh, my bed is at 100 degrees. My extruder, okay, that's a little coin there. Hopefully that'll all work out. That's not looking like it did when I do it at 100%, but we'll see how that works. Uh, my extruder's at 220 degrees. And I'm printing on uh, glass with Kapton tape. Uh, I, I bought some picture frame glass at Home Depot and I'm holding it there with some binder clamps. And what I do is each time I do a little uh, wipe with a paper towel with some uh, fingernail polish remover, some acetone, just to get any oils. And it seems to be sticking really well right now. Um, this is, like I said, this is doing different than when I did it 100%, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, I want to do that to kind of test the scale and also print a little faster. This is supposed to be about a six minute print. So uh, it, it works. It's. I'll let it be quiet for a little bit so you can hear it. In the past, uh, on some of my earlier videos, people talked about the, the squeal of my motors. It's, it's better than it was. Uh, I'm not telling you it's perfect. But I've had a lot of fun printing a lot of different things. Uh, this design was made on Autodesk Inventor. Uh, I teach Project Lead the Way engineering program at uh, New Smyrna Beach High School. And we teach our freshman class how to use uh, Autodesk Inventor to do CAD projects. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit there. You're looking at this. Oh, I'm sorry. You're looking at this from a long ways away. That's not very in focus. I'm sorry.
If you watched the first video, I went to a fair amount of detail on my settings for Slicer and how to get things going and for interface to get yourself ready to print. It just has a couple layers to do and then it will home the Z axis, it will move up 10 millimeters in the Z and then home at the X. That kind of gets it out of the way. Then I will turn off the heat on the bed and I'll actually come back and, and I'll, I'll take a picture of the finished product there so you can see what it looks like. Kind of hard to see from my angle, it's almost done. So let me zoom out so you can see that. It's on its last layer right now. So I hope you got something out of this. I think the first video is a lot more informative. This just kind of shows something in process so you can see it. I didn't want to go through. There you go. And it's done. So uh, I'll take a picture. My fan turns off. My fan only ran for uh, the first layer. It doesn't. And then it runs continuously after that, just blowing on there at 100%.